Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> So while the world is all crazy, 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 I got to thinking about some things after my last video. If you haven't seen that, I will direct you. I think it's in, I think it'll be in this corner. My last video was about newbie writing mistakes that I personally made. And while I was making that video, I came to the understanding that I was still making some glaring mistakes or I was doing things that were not strengthening me as a writer. And so we're going to discuss all sorts of stuff. This video is for newbie writers and for veteran writers. I find that I'm getting into a writing rut a little bit when it comes to certain things. And it just it, it just keeps happening and you know, I'll I'll notice these ticks that I'm doing in my own writing. In my effort to evolve from using adverbs in my dialogue tags, the LY adverbs, I became more innovative in my dialogue tags. I just found that I really loved what came about from that. And it brought the characters to life more and they felt more real and they were doing more things. and. You know, people speak with their hands or they, you know, there's more visual feeling from these characters. But five and a half years later from developing that technique, I am not as good as, at it. My dialogue tags might be more wooden in my f drafting phase or whatever. And I notice it and I don't know how to fix it because I've forgotten. And <laughs> Send help! Like, what do I do? Yeah, that's a thing. Some things will feel stale, or I'm not doing enough description, or I'm doing too much emotional description, and it's just how things have changed. And now, I've definitely strengthened as a writer in many other ways, but it's at the cost of forgetting all of the good things that I did as from five years ago. I think with writing, we sometimes get into a writing rut. For veteran writers, you get good at it and you're, oh, you're doing it. And then maybe the quality is starting to go down because you're not actively studying your craft as much anymore. And that makes a difference. When it comes to being good writers, we need to constantly be learning, forgetting and remembering and learning and relearning and because let me tell you, I can't remember what happened a week ago. <laughs> it's all a blur. <sighs> How to get more organized at learning things constantly and remembering them and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just something to think about as new writers and veteran writers. We need to constantly be learning our craft. Where, wherever you are at in your journey as a writer. We don't know it all. Don't look at me like that. You do not know it all. I do not know it all. <laughs> I certainly do not know it all. Hello. Hello. We all have our own likes and dislikes when it comes to writing and reading. And so those kinds of opinions forge that in us. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. And that's okay. Whether you are a veteran writer, or a newbie writer, or a non-writer who would like to be a writer, we constantly have to keep learning. It is not always going to be intuitive. We're going to forget stuff. We're going to forget stuff. <laughs> We're going to forget stuff. And we got to keep doing the tutorials and brushing up on our grammar and brushing up on this. And I'm finding, you know, five years later, I'm not as, as sure with the grammar as I was when I was, you know, 25, 26, 27 had, I was more sure of myself. Now I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Um, hang on. <laughs> so yeah. Whew. 
take the time to relearn things that you already know because you probably forgot them <laughs> you probably forgot them and they're gonna sneak up in your writing now of course this depends on how creative you feel because if you're not feeling creative everything's gonna sound bad everything's gonna sound wooden you're gonna throw things there throw things here and it's just it's just gonna do that you know and you're gonna be struggling don't worry so much about your mistakes when you're not being creative enough but during those times when you are creative also don't forget that writing is a continual learning process we are all trying to remember how to write we're all trying to get better at writing and then relearning what we probably will forget tomorrow <laughs> I've got a bunch of writing books on my shelf and I feel the need to reread them all because I have forgotten lots of stuff. I read most of them as a teenager and it's been a long time since then. As with any craft, it takes time and energy to get better. Very few people are good at writing from the womb. Just like very few people are good at drawing from the womb. It's a day by day working on it. You need to have quantity and quality so that you can keep building that muscle. I really feel that, that one can learn so much from good writing books. There's just so much and I just, you know, I feel like I'm missing out on some of my old books and I gotta go reread some good writing books. There's one called Let the Crazy Child Write. <laughs> all about shutting up that inner editor. <laughs> I'm not pick that one up first. <laughs> Writing is about constantly learning, constantly remembering, constantly forgetting, constantly relearning and re-remembering. It takes time, it's all about time. And guess what? You have plenty of it now, don't you? Now that we're all in quarantine. <laughs> Nobody is allowed out of the house. Stay home. There's no excuse not to write now. <laughs> oh dear. I got to analyze what I like and what I don't like about my writing and remember it. Maybe actually write notes about it. Wow, Anthe. <laughs> write notes about writing. If you can take away anything from this video, remember to keep on learning, watch tutorials, study things, read writing books, all of the above. There are lots of great author tubers who have great tutorials about writing and stuff. Go find them, go watch them. Just absorb all of that knowledge. Keep absorbing new information so that you can continually grow in new ways. I believe in you. <laughs> Alright then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye! <laughs>